So the day took a total change. <laughs> if anything exciting happens, I'll turn the camera back on for you guys. <laughs> the soup is gonna be a bust for lunch, at least for us. The best part of this whole entire week was going in to pick and save. That's what we have to do, we just get through it. So something that I put together years and years ago, I wanna say this had to have been at least 16 or more years ago. You guys, this is like the Fly Lady plan. I'll put a link. Well, I don't even know if there's necessarily one particular link for Fly Lady, but you could go check out on Amazon. I'm sure she has multiple books. You could type in Fly Lady here on YouTube. I've already done a few Fly Lady videos before too. One of her things, it's called the Weekly Home Blessing. And really, I think she always, she recommends doing it on Monday. You can do it whatever day works for you. But it's basically these things and you're supposed to work very, very hard to get these things done. I believe it's 10 minutes an item. So changing sheets, empty all trash cans, dust all flat surfaces, vacuum middle of all rooms, sweep and mop kitchen and bathrooms, cull old magazines, catalogs, newspapers, shine entry door windows and mirrors. So at first that might sound really big. Some of those things could take me, just to mop the floors could take me a long time. Well, one thing that I found is to just get the right tools. So I've used these before and I've showed them to you before, but my spray mop, you'll see me using that a little bit later here. Um, and just if you have a location that you can put all your tools, that helps the little bathroom wipes because is that on here? Bathrooms aren't even on here. Um, but I guess that's because that's part of her daily, her daily morning routine is to, one of the things on her daily morning routine is to um, wipe down the sink, brush out the toilet. Uh, I mean, and if you do that on a daily basis, it really only takes probably, whoops. I should stop talking with my hands. Uh, it probably takes like less than a minute to do those two things. But just getting the tools and having your tools all ready for you. And then after you do this for like three or four weeks, you'll get onto a routine and onto a rhythm that just works. And you'll see you can get it done really quickly. I already have one bed of sheets uh, going in the washing machine. I'm going to go and get one more bed of sheets ready to go in the washing machine and I'm going to get clean sheets put onto that bed right away. So emptying trash is next. I just take the five bags that I need. I go into all of the rooms. I can just pull out the trash bag, put in a new shopping bag, which is what we use for trash bags. I take them all to the kitchen, jam them into the kitchen garbage and take out one full bag. Dusting flat surfaces doesn't have to be a big deal. Oh, look at that fuel injector on my dresser. Really just go about with any kind of little Swiffer or duster and just dust. I don't even, on this day when I'm trying to do this, I don't even, um, I don't even put things away. I just kind of dust around it. I'm just trying to get some of the dust from settling on the dressers and the end tables, things like that. So the day took a total change. <laughs> right as I was working my way through the Monday Home Blessing, the recycling truck came and I was running to get the recycling out before he made like the loop and turned back around and left without me getting the recycling out. I slipped in the garage and I think I broke my toe my big toe on my left foot, I cannot move it. It is swollen. I looked up online what to do. If I really, really need to go in for you know, home treatment, just says elevate ice. 
ibuprofen, rest your foot, try not to walk. So I've pretty much been spending, it is five after two, pretty much been spending the whole day laying on the recliner, elevating it, resituating the ice pack on it, took some ibuprofen and just been trying to rest it. Uh, Maria was bringing me laundry because I was just like, I need to do something. I cannot sit here. She's like, do you want the TV on? I was like, no, I don't want the TV on. I want to do something. She's like, well, I can bring you laundry. <laughs> so anyway, she brought laundry to me and I was do folding some laundry in a laying down position is kind of interesting. But anyway, we got it. We got that done. And now I just had to stand up because I could not recline any longer. Um, and I did put on... Here's the socks that we still need to fold. We'll put those over in a pile. <laughs> and I did put on my slipper here because my foot, I'm holding it still and it's just so cold. I'm gonna show you my, my feet. So if feet weird you out, you'll have to look away. So here is my toe. This was what I saw initially was just that the toenail had like bent kind of back. Um, and then it didn't hurt. I mean, it hurt, but it was about 10 minutes after that it really started to hurt and it's you know kind of a little bit discolored so if I kind of compare it to the other foot yeah this is definitely red and kind of purplish funny purplish there it's got kind of a funny color there all right that's enough feet for in a video <laughs> but I did get my slippers and I thought maybe something soft would help, but I can't even wiggle my toe to get my slipper on. So we'll see what comes of this. I was able to make a couple phone calls for different things that I need to schedule. So I'm just gonna write a few things on the calendar and I don't really know what else is gonna go on here today. The Monday home blessing, at least for me, is done. I might pull the kids in to do a little bit, but they still have schoolwork to do and, and dishes. They're going to work on the dishes right now too before they get going on the rest of their school. But anyway, if anything exciting happens, I'll turn the camera back on for you guys. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back. It's Tuesday now and I'm continuing on with my Monday home blessing. <laughs> it's, um, I guess it's, we're gonna have to call it the Monday Tuesday home blessing this week. So, little update on the toe. I'm moving around better today. Of course, it just hurts to walk. Do you like stuff like this? I'll show you my toe today. So pretty much everything always gets worse before it gets better. This part right in here is starting to kind of sting where that toenail came back. Yeah, so this is what it's looking like. I'm just keeping a um, slipper on, and this is helping quite a bit just to kind of protect it. And I am working on vacuuming right now. So next up on my list is to vacuum the middles of all the rooms. I don't move anything. I go into the kids' rooms, and I'm just going to vacuum. Whatever amount of space there is, that's what I vacuum. And next week, the things will be moved around and I'll vacuum a new spot. <laughs> All right, normally for the sweeping and mopping of the like hardwood floor and the bathroom floors, I would usually just vacuum and then mop, but today Warren is on a phone meeting, so I didn't wanna have the vacuum running, so I just did a quick sweep and then just a general quick middle of the room mop. So I will go under the table, I will go underneath the chairs, uh, but I don't move, I don't try to get under the piano or, or whatever, just really whatever wood, is showing that's what I end up washing and now next up I am going to pull over a stool and I'm going to go through which is cull newspapers and magazines so our newspapers and magazines pile up right here and so I'm just gonna go through that get rid of everything that's old and and 
then I usually do this over here because this starts to usually pile up with a lot of stuff that we need to get rid of too. Ah, here is a library for a fishing game that Peter was probably looking for. Well, with all that walking around, <laughs> my toe is really starting to hurt. So I still have one more thing, which is wipe down mirrors and shine the entry door. But we are going to take a little break here, push that off even longer, that Monday home blessing. And I got the little ice pack here, and I am just going to put my toe on that for a while, while we play a matching game. Yep. We, I unearthed this. It was hiding underneath all those magazines and newspapers, so... It's been a while since we've, um, I've gotten to that part on the Monday Home Blessing. <laughs> All right, so I just spent a good amount of time icing my toe, and it's feeling a little bit better here, so I thought I better get some work done. The kids have done schoolwork. At least they've done two subjects. They've done their reading and, like, reading comprehension and things like that, and then they also did math, which was really good, and... So the work that I have to get done is printing labels. So I just got one printed up. That one is going to Trish. So Trish, if you're watching, that's your cookbook right there laying on my <laughs> schoolroom floor. So I'm just going to print the rest of the labels I need to so that we can get to the library. I'd like to get to the library after lunch. Um, it'll be the first time I've gone outside since my little accident yesterday. So we'll see how that goes. But I would like to get to the library, which means we'll also be close to the uh post office and we can get these shipped off because it is a Tuesday after all. All right, I just spent some time uh, working on math with Peter. He is doing decimal place value right now. So anyway, I'm just pulling out the leftovers from supper last night, which was a little bit of leftover peaches, the yellow rice, which I just mixed the leftover veggies right into that. And then in the oven, I have the leftover pork ribs. It's time to go to the library now and also uh, go to the P.O. box. Peter is working on, the kids have really been into embroidering lately. And so he is drawing up his own design here. And it's going to be a secret from Maria. That's why I'm not saying what it is, but you guys can maybe see what that is. Yep, yep. I mean, I know immediately what that is. Yep. Oops, don't, don't, don't. You what? got my toe. Oh. <laughs> the bird on your embroidery, Peter thinks that it looks like a wood thrush. I thought the bird on my embroidery is a red-winged blackbird. That's what I thought. But I think you can probably put whatever markings on it you want with whatever color and turn it into any bird you want it to be. No red birds. <laughs> I had a couple people, oh, what is in your hair? Oh, just a piece of plastic, okay. I had a couple people in our Easter video, Maria mentioned that they really liked these headbands. Now, this headband is from Timu. I can leave a link for you guys, and I actually have a sale code if you are interested. If it's your very first time, you can get an additional 30% off, and I think these are like two bucks, something like that, for the um, headbands. And mine isn't quite as bright. I have like the darker colors, but I do really like it. All right, I was I was elevating my leg for quite, my, my toe, <laughs> for quite a while after lunch. I had Peter go and grab a loaf of bread out of the freezer. We're going to just, what was that? No, oh, I, heard, I heard a big sniff. I think, I think Peter and I are um, dealing with allergies right now. You know, we're both kind of sniffing and everything. Anyway, um, for supper tonight, we're just going to do grilled cheese. It's just been a lot right now to try to do whatever house things need to be done with this darn toe. <laughs> How many times can I say the word, the word toe in a video? So when we get back, I am going to tackle folding laundry. I just yanked it all out of the dryer before, and I was getting to it. I had a lot from yesterday and today, but I just didn't get all of it because I just didn't. So Joe is ready. Of course, he's in shorts. 
Did you know that we just got like four or five inches of snow yesterday, Joe? And you're wearing shorts? <laughs> Thumbs down up. Thumbs down for the snow? That's what I think too. Can I have the snow today? So I have the grilled cheese sandwiches going on the stove top here and we're just going to put this with some Oh, I don't know, maybe some carrot sticks or something. And this is going to be supper. I'm going to continue this video tomorrow because maybe something more exciting will happen tomorrow. Yeah, I just feel like with this hurt toe, I'm just like moving slow and nothing really exciting is really going on. So I just put my foot up for a while and I scrolled on my phone. That's what I did. Not really video uh, worthy. And then I stood and did some laundry for a little while, folded um, until my toe was hurting and then I went and sat down. So that's kind of how things have been going here. I'm hoping tomorrow though, um, to get some ham soup going in the morning that we could have for supper tomorrow night and like ham and potato, oh, that type of a soup. I know you want to have supper. We're going to have grilled cheese, Joe. So hopefully tomorrow a little bit more excitement will take place. Well, good morning there. We're just continuing on with this week vlog here. This morning, Warren and I had to go into town uh, to do some investment things. I just wanted to say, especially to the young people out there that are watching this video it might not seem so i have two things to say it might not seem like putting away a small amount of money is going to do much and you might feel like oh i only have fifty dollars or i only have whatever right now to put away just do it because <laughs> the second thing that i want to say is it, you might be thinking that is so far away retirement my children's college whatever it might be is so far away it's not <laughs> it's not that far away and because the time really does go quickly when i look back and i go oh my goodness warren and i have been married for is it 27 years that we've been married or is it 26 years we've been married that time really really goes fast and it's amazing how just starting when you're young, like we started when we were first married, putting away money for retirement, and it wasn't a lot, and it felt like this is hardly anything when they say you need however many thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to make it through your retirement years. <coughs> Excuse me, I just had some cashews. But it is amazing how just starting out wherever you are today and just putting some money away and next month or the next month or yearly or whatever oh it is, whatever amount you can scrape up to put to um, put away for your for your retirement or yep. your future, it is amazing how all of those yep. little amounts yep. add up to be a big amount. So yep. anyway, we were just doing some investing. Um, we had an investment meeting this morning. Uh, we're home now. I'm getting started on school with Joe. And he, don't talk like that. <laughs> don't talk like that. <laughs> don't talk like that. Sorry. And he's working on Mrs. Brown's. Last time, I can't remember if I showed you that I kind of revamped this little carry. What is this called? Little carry tote. Anyway, I revamped it and everything, and I have all of his Mrs. Brown's papers in here, all of his happy sheets here, and all of the books. I need to print out some more books because some of these he's so good at and they're just getting um they're they're getting old he's kind of he's he's done with these so i do need to spend some time today printing out some more books for him uh, but anyway that's what we're working on here today all right well this is what it's looking like today it's just a horrible windy oh my gosh i cannot believe the wind and the the rain is just going sideways right now literally sideways so we we're kind of hunkering down. Warren was thinking that he was going to try to lay out the last few acres of pipe today. Oh, there's some of our Easter decorations, but I don't think that's gonna happen. And it's supposed to be like this tomorrow too. <laughs> and I had this creamy wild rice soup mix. This was one that my mom had uh, given to me. And I thought, you know what? I should make that today. And whenever I think about it, it's always too late because it has to simmer for a long time. It has to simmer for like an hour. And so I'm actually starting lunch early enough. So yeah, I'm just bringing the water to a boil. I have to pour all of this in, boil it for five minutes, and then let it simmer for an hour. 
and we'll have some soup for lunch. All right, I have to come over here. I'm going to try to zoom in because it looks like it looks like the Gulf has come to me. Look at those waves and white caps. If it was a sunny day, we could be out there letting those laugh at our ankles. Oh my gosh, the window is actually shaking right now from the wind. Well, we're coming in at the last here, but Peter was just processing up a turkey. He actually shot his turkey during the youth hunt on Saturday, right? Yeah. A nice turkey. And 20 pounds. 20 pounds, really nice. I have the air fryer going in the background. That's the rattle. <laughs> I don't know why mine always does that, but it does. It's because it's like vibrating. Or yeah, something. it vibrates on something, but I just haven't quite figured out what it is. Anyway, relative brought over his turkey that he, he shot this shot morning. This. And so Peter was working at processing it up. There's the turkey breast. That is a ton of meat. Yeah, that's, cow. that's two turkey breasts, tenderloins, and then some of uh, some leg meat that we uh, that was left behind. And then uh -huh. right here are the two legs. So and we, here's yep. the one leg and then two legs. Yep. And I'm going to wrap this in freezer paper because they didn't fit in a Ziploc bag. I think we'll wrap this in freezer paper also. Yeah. So we're going to get that wrapped up. And the soup is going to be a bust for lunch, at least for us, because I completely forgot that it was Wednesday and that it is our homeschool co-op day. Normally we have piano lessons in the morning and then we have co-op in the afternoon. And it, it's just like, it's just a rhythm. Like, I know, we get home from piano, we have to hurry up, we do about 45 minutes of schoolwork, we get some lunch going and we leave. Well, we're on piano spring break. <laughs> so I completely forgot. And Peter's like, what time do we have to leave for charge? I was like, oh no. So anyway, the um, the soup is just going to have to simmer away. I'm hoping that I can grab Warren out in the shop and have him come in just to pay attention to the last little bit. Did you finish your book? And you're blowing your nose? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Was it a was it a tearjerker book? Um I don't know. You don't know what a tearjerker is? That means it brings the tears. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Maria was working on, if you have um, the book Sarah Plain and Tall, and then the second book in the series is Skylark. And then we were at the Caleb's library story. yesterday and we saw that they had Caleb's story, which I don't think we have Caleb's no. story. So she checked that out yesterday, finished it right now. Uh -huh. And I walked in on her and she was like, Kind of teary and I and she's like are you gonna cry too I'm like I don't know tell me what the story is and anyway influenza was going through and and an infant died and just always always so much realness in those books but I guess that's what makes a great story all right I need to get this wrapped up Well, good morning, everybody. This is definitely one of those weeks that has not turned out anything like what we thought it was going to turn out to be. So we're just leaving the... Let's so go just, home. Yeah, we're just leaving the hospital right now. Joe had to have a sleep study last night. One thing that's very common... Shh, shh, shh. Stop that. Put your hands down. So one thing that's very common for people with Down syndrome is sleep apnea. So we had to have that monitored last night. And yeah, the week is just so different than what I anticipated it to be. But we're just gonna keep vlogging and see what happens. And um, it's turkey season week. So hopefully we have some exciting hunting news maybe to share later in this week, or this weekend anyway. And yeah, that was a long night. <laughs> so we are gonna head home and try to get a little bit of rest today if we can. So this was probably the best part of this whole entire week, was going in to pick and save and finding all of these reduced price stickers. So let me just take you through my grocery haul this morning. So on our way home from the, um, from the sleep study lab, 
Joe and I stopped at the grocery store to pick up a couple things. Milk was $2.79. I know Warren had just picked up six gallons. Well, I say just, but probably like four days ago. So it was time to get a couple more gallons just so we don't run out. I picked up two bags of these different, the corn chips and these tortilla chips so that we could have some salsa over the weekend here. And then also some eggs. These were just under $15. I want to say like $14, maybe $55 or something. So not, I mean... Definitely not the like four bucks that they used to be, but definitely not the 22 that they used to be either. <laughs> so anyway, did that. Picked up some granola bars for the turkey hunters in case they wanted to take a little snack with them. And then I just, I was looking and it was just like everywhere I turned at Pick and Save today were stickers. So Oh, I also picked up bacon for this weekend but this was also on sale this is the three pound and this was on sale for just under fifteen dollars so three dollars a pound which was a decent price for bacon this picnic ham here was normally almost twenty one dollars i got it for thirteen dollars i found these little mini pepperonis and these are normally three forty nine i picked up two packages for a dollar five each I make a crock pot pizza hot dish and I like to put um, a layer of pepperoni in there. I picked up this one pack of brats here for $2.82 for five brats. I mean the date is 426 which is like six days away from now. So I'll put these in the freezer. Just such great prices on all of this. Lunch meat so much lunch meat. Now this I have to put in the freezer. We have to use it today basically or put it in the freezer. So we'll have some sandwiches for lunch today and then after that we'll pop it in the freezer and bring it out um, at a later day. So I did pick up two of these packages of roast beef. Um, here again this was normally $10.49. I got it for $5.77. Some two packages of black forest ham. I picked up some uh, ham off the bone. This is delicious ham. I love that ham off the bone. Um, here's some turkey home style as well as peppercorn and some hard salami. All at just great prices. 9.11 reduced down to 4.65. Then I was over by the bacon in the that lunch meat and I ran across this here, $2.80, normally $5.49. And so I picked this up. This is like the rotisserie um, style chicken. And I like how it's the thicker cut. So I can chop this up and make this into like some chicken salad. That would be delicious. And then the kids have kind of been getting into these lately. I bought some for... Let's see, did I buy some of those for when we went to Florida? I, I really can't remember when, but anyway, and then I picked some up at Dollar Tree, which they were $1.25, and look at that, $0.34 cents and $0.79. Cents. There was a lot more. I mean, there was so many packages, probably 40 packages of lunch meat. I, I wasn't going to get all of it. There was only the one pack of brats. There was more pepperoni. There were probably 10 hams, tons of these. This was it for the chicken. Those were the only packages. And then I went over by the bakery where they do the reduced uh, bakery items. And I only picked up buns. They had a lot of sweets, individual pieces of cake for well under a dollar. Um, they had a lot of bagels. And what else did they have? They had different danishes and things like that. I just didn't want to bring home all of that sugar. So just some buns because bakery buns are always delicious. I can put these in the freezer and bring them out whenever. So, you know, like within the next few weeks, $1.24, fantastic price. Look at normally $3.99 for a pack of eight bakery buns. I'm feeling like I need to go take a shower and get ready. Coming home from that sleep study and then I sat down, I was talking about it to Warren and everything about it. And um, now, yeah, I need to go and just kind of pull myself together. But this grocery haul is the end of the video because this week has just been a week. I mean, like I remember Monday, do you remember at the beginning of the video when I started out and I was all like, it is Monday and I am doing a Monday home blessing and we're gonna get this done in an hour. And then three days later, I was still working on it. And do you know, I never did even get like the entry doors wiped and washed down or the bathroom mirrors or anything like that wiped and washed. It just didn't happen. It'll, I guess next week, maybe it'll happen. And then it's just been a series of unfortunate events. I mean, I got home today and Warren comes out with a, a pipe wrench, I think that's called, 
or a monkey wrench? Is that what it? I, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, a big, a big wrench. And he comes walking out the door as I'm pulling up. I'm just like, what happened? Well, the sump pump went out overnight. We have actually three sump pumps in our basement and um, one of them went out. So there was water all over the basement, um, but we had an extra because he's just that kind of guy. So he replaced the sump pump. And um, just now, just before I started to film this, Peter came running in and he's like, dad, there is a washout on the on the road like our driveway so i don't know what that's all about maybe it's maybe it's 11 year old boy and it's going to be nothing maybe it's 11 year old boy going oh this is not right and maybe it's going to be something i don't know <laughs> but anyway i am signing out here for this week and i'm going to try to put this together into some sort of video for you guys and and hopefully you get a little value out of this video if anything it's just know that everybody has weeks where things are not going as they planned and we just we get through it right that's what we have to do we just get through it so you guys have a fantastic week i hope that um, your week has gone better than mine and i hope that next week goes great for all of us See you soon.